I'll get up and no place to skate. That will soon be the situation facing the Omaha roller derby team. I don't really know if we have the words for it. It was pretty devastating to hear in the initial meeting. Um, I don't know if all of us have fully accepted it yet. It's really sad to see this place go that we've loved for so long. I'm still in the stage of shock. I, I've been here about eight years, half of my life, but it's still sad to see the bunker that we helped change so much go away. The skaters have until the end of April to vacate what they affectionately call the bunker. The landlord is not renewing their lease. And what makes things even more difficult for this group is that because of COVID, they have some downtime. So they just finished giving this place a makeover. The league requires them to have a 75 by 108 square foot floor that comes to 81,000 square feet of flooring that should be concrete or wood. Uh, yeah, budget's always a big thing. Uh, COVID's hit us hard like everybody else, so our budget's uh, a little bit more limited right now. I mean, we have a wonderful area for ticket booth, wonderful area for concessions, an entire track made of really good skating material, to be honest, and even area for all the gear and multiple teams to meet up. Leaving this space that they have occupied for the past 10 years, they say, will be difficult. It's very scary um, starting over again with like cost and getting everything moved in and kind of everything up the way we like it. They have junior skaters as well as teen and adult. And it's not just a practice ring and game venue they're losing. Me and a lot of other people have grown attached to this being able to be one of our coping mechanism activities. I'm not sure what I would do without it, honestly but keeping the team together is helping them push forward. I really enjoy the team that we have, and wherever we do end up going, we'll make it home. In Omaha, Danielle Davis, News Man.